Hello there everyone and welcome back to Le Gil. So before we go ahead and attack France, there was one last um, vassal kingdom of Napoleon that I needed to take out, which was uh, this Italian kingdom. I'd already gone ahead and taken the cities and I believe I've defeated most of their armies in the field. I don't have that many, so that should be done. Now I only need to get towards the depot and take that. There is obviously the uh, um, military depot here of the uh, the Polish, but they're not. They were never a problem for us, anyways. I don't think they ever ventured uh, this far to actually attack us, even when we were at war with them. So, uh, and there's some strange things here, like Dusseldorf is still. Um, part of, part of, um, uh, what's it called, the Rheinbund, so they haven't been disbanded just yet, but soon enough they will. But right, I thought we would go ahead and take the army and uh, finalize the defeat of this Italian kingdom. And then we will start our march on Paris. I will lead my men in the assault. Right, we don't want everyone just to charge up like crazy, do we? We want to get some kind of order here. Well, it looks like let's have everyone just stop. And then we want the musketeers, which I think are the most numerous right now. Yes, the fusiliers are the most numerous. And then we have the rifles in close... Not at... Uh, I was about to say close second, but not at all in close second. Right, cavalry. You'll be a bit over to that side. Ah, oh, yes, now I remember what I forgot. I forgot to recruit some banners. That's a shame. Right, um, 95th, form single rank. And then we got the uh, Highlanders. They probably can set up in between the few that we have. And then we have the separate group of the, uh, let's see, Fusilier Ensign. So that's the drummer. Go ahead and play a tune over there. And then the Highlander might s just stand next to you, playing his uh, pipe. And then, you know what, the Marines, you can stand, no, stand right where you are. Um, so someone has, <laughs> oh, why do you, s oh yeah, the because there's two of you, right. But the other one is gone somewhere, maybe shot down on the front somewhere, not sure, most likely, um, since they should be uh, cavalry, form single rank. Now someone said that I should, would do, or they would like me to do a, uh, a regiment of uh, the Royal Marines. The problem is of course that they, you can't recruit Royal Marines. It would be nice if they could possibly I'm not sure. Since the British have quite a few uniforms that are not used, there's also a Sicilian uniform. Uh, for like a Sicilian looks a bit like the rifleman, but I think it's uh, some form of light infantry. I, the uh, the Fusiliers is actually way too close to the fort because there are so many. The rifles will take the hill and then the Fusiliers will fall back a bit and go a bit further to the right so we'll have all the people off there on the left will be able to fire as well oh yeah I'm not sure if I showed you the fact that Dreadbeard the last companion uh, I picked up now um, so I've got all of them except for I think the black woman uh, Devish no Devishi I've got her in the rifles I should have everyone then.
Let's see, how well have we done so far? 35 wounded, that brings our casualties up to uh, 48. 48 against the enemy's 81. So we are winning in this. But maybe not as much as one would want to. But I think once we're able to clear off the top there, we should do uh, quite well. Now the riflemen have uh, quite a bit of trouble getting in order here, and quite a lot are not firing. So I'm thinking Fusiliers will form three ranks, and then they will spread out once to adopt the, uh, the skirmisher formation, and then they will hold fire and get into that position and hopefully we can maximize the fire from our lines. Let's see. They, they're running about a bit all over the place. So what I was talking earlier about the uniforms is it would be nice if they would, or he would, since there's only one developer, if he would implement something where uh, maybe, I think the British have already quite spread out in terms of... Um, oh, look at that, the enemy's charging out. Um, in terms of the fact that you can recruit Highlanders and stuff. Although you can only do it from two villages in this. Maybe in the 1.4 it's all of Scotland. But you're splitting up the, um, the, um, the possibilities of recruiting the same type of troops. But otherwise... Um, what you could do is, I guess you could mod certain parts, um, so recruits or something, or since you have the different kinds of veterans, they could be set up to have the different kinds of uniforms and you ne that didn't necessarily um, have to uh, upgrade them, or well, no, you, uh, would, um, you wouldn't upgrade them to keep them in the uniform, or what you would have is um, a system where you could choose the equipment of the units yourself in which case you could use some of those uniforms the uh, the troops that went up to the gate were cleared away quite quickly and now when I've got my men into a, a lot better order the enemy casualties have risen to a hundred and fifty six However, we have also lost a lot as we have 57 wounded and 21 are dead uh, across the field here. But it looks as though we might have cleared out the top. Or quite a lot of it at least. It looks as though there's still quite a lot inside though. I'm gonna go ahead and take a closer look. Okay, there's still there's still a bit of a line in there of cavalry. We've got dragoons. Oh, <laughs> holy crap! So we still got quite a few men in there, but. Oh, there's the that's one of the generals. Let's see if I can shoot him. It's a bit dangerous here. No, it doesn't seem as though I'm really able to. There's quite a few in there, but I think if I sent the if I told the fusiliers to attack right now, they would, um, they would charge up these ladders, and we could claim the top. Fusiliers, hold your fire. Fusiliers, charge. 
And I think the Highlanders are the next unit to come up, uh, or the one that will reinforce. So the Highlanders will take the uh, main position here. Charge up, brave men. Okay, I'm almost dead. We need to, uh, and then we need to stand a bit off to the side to let the soldiers come through. Charge over the top. That guy was about to shoot me. Charge in, men! Oh, and there's uh, Danny leading the men inside. Right, Fusiliers. Fire at will. So once you're in... Don't stand in my way, Fusilier. Damn you! Keep it up, soldiers. I think our assault might have failed. There was simply too, simply too many cavalrymen up there. Oh, now we ended up down in the uh, the gateway. We had a few men marching in there. Didn't do too well for them. Let's see. Everyone's pushing forward now. A new wave. Of Fusiliers are charging forth. They're trying to go through the gate, most of them. I would like them to have charged up and uh, taken the top there. All we can do is we'll go ahead and remove all of this. Just to make it more cinematic. as the men charge through here. Fight hard, men! Fight on! A new wave of enemies have arrived. There's some that are hiding in there. Keep going! The, the melee in this is quite awkward. I like how this guy is just standing there. Oh, wait a minute! Enemies are here! Maybe I need to fight them. Hopefully I'm not losing tons of men right now being killed. Right, we've claimed the top. And troops are coming down that way. But, uh, Not everyone's charging. Didn't I have the... Set it so everyone would charge. Now they're coming down the stairs. Oh, look at that. Everyone that's spawned in. It's all the light troops that have spawned in now. More men try to make it through the gateway. But we don't have enough, really. So we'll have to call off the attack. So, I lost a total of 75 killed, 246 wounded, leading to 321 casualties in total, while the enemy lost 308. But uh, 265 of those were killed and 43 were wounded. So, let's see, how many do I have left? 480, that's still quite a lot of troops. And the enemy only has 148 men left. And let's see. So of these men, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and upgrade everyone first. Let's see what uh, of the fusiliers. Who do we have still standing? You can see that we still have 110 Highlanders. And we still have Royal Dragoon Guards, quite a lot of them. So I think we can go ahead and pull off a charge by sending up the Highlanders. And we still have quite en uh, enough riflemen as well to go ahead and pull off a charge and clear this out once and for all. And then having defeated this Italian Kingdom, 
we should be able to march on France and Paris and uh, force a final battle with Napoleon. Now, hold your fire and we're going to get this right this time. So this time, we still have quite a lot of Fusiliers. The Fusiliers will take the center while the Highlanders will take the right. The rifles will stand behind and then the ensigns and so on will stand behind here. Cavalry will... Cavalry is probably would be quite good for a charge, wouldn't they? So cavalry, you will draw your swords. Or maybe I should have them on the muskets because they can, not only can they fire, but if they get close, they uh, would uh, use their uh, their swords. I think my musketeers is a bit too close maybe, but let's see when everyone's ready here. Okay. Fire! That's a lot of bullets now flying towards the enemy. And as I close in there, hopefully there's enough room for... There's so much smoke here, you can hardly see the men behind the smoke. Cavalry, you will form as thick formation as possible and then you will gather down below that ladder. The formations are starting to split up a bit as the fighting progresses through here. Not all of the 95th seem to be firing which is a shame. They are providing quite a bit of accurate fire towards the enemy. Let's see, how many cavalrymen? So far, we are really giving it to the enemy. Right, cavalry charge! Charge up there! I will follow you! Get in there! Oh. Let's cut them through here and see if we can help our men getting through. Ah, oh, was shot down. Ah, uh, did I have it? Oh, I forgot to <laughs> set it on. That's a lot of hands stuck in here. That's a bit weird. Is that me that's stuck in the wall there? Yes, that's me stuck in the wall. Okay, so the cavalry almost managed to get through. But my lines are not charging forwards. Oh, and that was the last bit of enemies that are in there. There is really no one left here. If you look at it this way. There's only a few people left. And since my men are not charging, they're only firing upon the few oh that guy, <laughs> that guy shouldn't probably not have been standing there all that fire they came down upon him when this guy's reloaded maybe he'll advance a bit and he'll get the same kind of treatment oh someone over there just turned up all that smoke that came flying or all those bullets This is a pretty good. Let's see. And fire.
Required quick save during battle. I need to change that because the quick save will turn up in the screenshot. But that could probably look pretty nice if it didn't have a guy standing behind him trying to uh, yeah um, this is more or less over I don't think there's anyone left call out the commander surrender your situation surrender ha huh? we'll hold this let's see how many men do you have left in there 26 how many do I have ready 200 Besiege, prepare to assault, and I do believe that we can just order the men to attack. We lost seven killed, three wounded, and we uh, took the castle. And we were able to save a few different type of troops. That we can put directly to work here. Highwaymen, I'm not entirely sure who they upgrade to. No, I will not ask this as a reward. And you know what? I'll. I'm not. I don't want to put men there just right now. So I'm, I'm going to hold the area and then make sure that th that kingdom is lost. And then. If I have more time, which I think I do on this episode, we'll go ahead and see about setting up for our attack on France to end this once and for all. And we're back. So I've gathered a smaller scouting force of uh, 95th rifles and light goons. And there is... Some armies riding around, tearing up everything here in Dutchland. Be I was hoping actually to recruit a Dutch regiment, but since all the villages are on fire, that's not very likely. So I'm gonna. Th oh, there he is. He's going for the last one, so. It's one of those. Um lords that has abandoned the Italian state. Are we gaining on him? No, we're not, actually. I built this force to be light and swift. Now we're gaining on him in the night, sort of-ish. I'm not entirely sure where he's going. My plan was actually first to have this little force to just go ahead and scout ahead and maybe have a little battle. He's going out into nowhere. There's no way he can depart from here, so he'll have to fight us. You thought you could hide out here on this peninsula? Well, you thought wrong. And yes, my fame do runs before me, just like you. Now you will surrender or die. We'll take the battle to him. Uh, out here on the peninsula. Okay, first of all. Wait, 95th. Make ready present. That looks like it's uh, it's all cavalry, almost. Dragoons to the front! Dragoons to the front! 95th, follow up behind. Yes, that is more or less entirely... Dragoons, charge! Right out and uh, confront the enemy force. 95th, prepare to aid. Fire at will. Such a mess. There was so much cavalry on their side. But it seems as though, together with the 95th, we did really short work of this group. Good work, Sharp. Keep your men in order. And as I say that, Sharp runs away. The troops are a bit all over the place. 
and it looks as though most of our dragoons have been dismounted. The 95th will advance. Okay, I'll take control of the 95th. You will make ready percent and you will fire on my command. Ninety-fifth, fire! Cannonballs are flying. Ninety-fifth, forwards. I'm not entirely sure where the last enemy units are. I believe they are... Ah, they're all the way up at the cannons. 95th. Wait. Okay, let's move them a bit. And let's see if they all target the cannons. Will they hit anything at this range? Fire! Okay, now we of course don't know if we hit anything, but... If we would have won... It would be safe to say, okay, cavalry use, cavalry use your melee weapon. Let's see, there we go, 95th. Fire it well. No, the bullets don't even go close. You can see the bullets flying all around, so. At this range. They are unable to shoot them. But now we are victorious. So we lost 6 men, 23 wounded. We didn't lose a single um, 95th rifleman. And you know what? You've been riding around uh, harassing peasants and stuff so we'll actually take you prisoner one of the few people I will take prisoner and will put you behind bars in my uh, headquarter in Amsterdam manage the garrison and will put you behind lock and key and we will now go ahead and scout our first target once my assault on France begins which is Liege. And we'll go ahead and scout what kind of garrison that has. 273 plus 73 prisoners. Then Luxembourg is next on the list. And then after that, Paris. Um. The Russian Empire has declared war on United Kingdom, which uh, seems rather strange. Let's see, Luxembourg has 200. So they don't really have a mass amount of people defending their stuff. Let's see the capital then. 276. But then we also might meet Napoleon once we've got here or somewhere along the line. Oh, there he is. Napoleon carries an army of 635 men. One of which I can see that he's got 58 Imperial Grenadiers, 50 Tsars, um, 105 Young Guard, and he's got three farmers, one Prussian Grenadier, two uh, Brunswick Fusiliers, four peasant women, three mountain bandits, and some other stuff. We want to avoid him when we have a force that's not even half for what he has. But then I know roughly that the the defense of the towns are not that great, but if I'm going to station troops to hold the towns as well, We'll imagine that we'll lose a hundred for garrison in each, minus casualties, which means that I might at best reach Paris with maybe 200, 250 men. 
And I would like to do it in one go. This attack. So maybe I will increase the size. Sure, I'll come shortly. Maybe I'll increase the size of... Um, we got another Dutch. Is he Dutch? Yes, he is Dutch. So he's gone ahead and continue the fight by joining the French. Another knight battle as well. Well then, I think you're Dutch. Well, you had Dutch flags, so we'll fight you. Surrender and die. So I think I might go ahead and increase the amount of troops I can have. Right, let's have the cavalry move out to the left. And then the 95th to the front. 95th will form single rank. And depending on what the enemy has, they might have a lot of cavalry this group as well. So we're not sure. Cavalry move a bit back. Alright, here comes the cavalry. Let's move our cavalry up to stop them. They will come in be coming over that hill. And the cavalry starts their fight. Up on the ridge, supported by the riflemen. They didn't have a lot of men up there though, so I think we'll recall the cavalry. Because I don't want them to uh, fight uh, to exhaustion. And having the enemy infantry being able to attack them and kill them off. So I want the cavalry now to retreat behind our lines and also cavalry. I would like you to form triple ranks. The enemy um, cavalry were dealt with, more or less. Cut me and then he ran away. Right, have their uh, infantry turned up yet? I can hear a lot of fire. So it is those three cavalrymen up there that are fighting. Right, let's have the 95th then gain ground and take the hill. Chop! Move your men to their to the top of that ridge. The cavalry will then come around this way and attack the enemy from the back. I'll first make sure that Sharp gets there and in what kind of condition his men will face off with the enemy. Oh, they're gonna be fighting close. It looks as though the enemy infantry has turned up on the ridge as well. As the riflemen. Oh, they're gonna meet more or less point blank on the top pair. That's gonna be to the detriment of the riflemen. Cavalry! On me! Dragoons! At your swords, gentlemen! Come on, keep up! Ready yourself, men! For the charge! Line up! Here we go! Now, boys, now, charge! <laughs> C 
cut them down. Continue to charge. Get those guns. Is Sharp still on his feet? He might be lying here somewhere. Wounded. He should be then out on the edge, shouldn't he? Somewhere. Where are you, Sharp? I think, unfortunately, Sharp has been been taken down here somewhere. It's hard to see, though. Yeah, it might have fallen quite early in this. Right, we are victorious. Yeah, Sharp was wounded. We lost eight men, 33 wounded. And we saved some farmers. Right, we'll make our way back to uh, Amsterdam. We'll set up and ready ourselves for an attack. We'll see about if we need to uh, um, gather up some extra men just so we have the power enough. Because if we meet Napoleon on the way there, that's going to be uh, quite difficult. And hopefully, maybe some of these villages have recovered so I can set up one Dutch regiment now from the liberated um, liberated uh, Dutch lands. So we can set up a regiment for them. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. And hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.